From Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The city of Johannesburg this month launched manufacturing of the city's specialized fire engines, or red fleets, at Marseille Firefighting Technology in Centurion, with the signing of a contract finalized. Tasneem Bubulia tells us more. The start of manufacturing follows the city's group corporate and shared services embarking on a tender process to procure specialized fire and rescue vehicles for the City of Johannesburg Emergency Management Services. City of Joburg Group Corporate and Shared Services, MMC, Lea Knott, expands on the contract between the City of Johannesburg and Marseille Firefighting Technologies. Uh, so the value of this particular contract is around 178 million rand. It consists of 17 heavy-duty vehicles, a variety of them. Two are kind of really large hydraulic, you know, aerial ladder type vehicles. And um, in essence, they will be manufactured over the next 12 to 18 months. So the 17 vehicles consists of 13 heavy-duty fire and rescue vehicles, two water tankers, one telescopic aerial ladder and one hydraulic platform. We're supplementing the current fleet. There are obviously, you know, write-offs happen, you know, over time. Um, we don't currently put vehicles out on the road that are unsafe or past their sell-by date. We awarded the managed maintenance contract in March of last year, which allowed us to fix a lot of our engines that we could put back onto the road. So we have increased capacity somewhat. These will then be added to that capacity, which will allow us to beef up our 31 fire stations across the city with more equipment. Um, in essence, we, we need double what we currently have on the road. Well, the CEO has confirmed that we will see the first vehicle within the first 10 months, um, and all of the vehicles will be delivered by May 2024. Not also outlines the reasons Marseille was chosen for this order and how it will approach this. And well, all specifications in terms of firefighting vehicles are unique to a municipality, so the team works very hard. Um, they usually even hire a specialist to come on board to do the specifications with them, um, and it takes quite a long time. So you would see that we actually awarded the contract in May uh, of last year, but the negotiations and, and you know dealing with the specifications took quite some time, which is why the SLA is signed you know a substantial amount of months later. And um, so what we have is different to what Cape Town has, it's different to what Swanee has, it's just it's suited towards our needs. Um, and in essence, um, yeah, so I, I think, you know, that's where we sit with regards to the tender. They would have been, they would have supplied us with the best value for money, um, as well as exactly what specifications, because you can't, it's not like you can get like sort of generic medicine over the counter. Um, you, your specs are what you need to get. So in essence, they would have been able to provide what we specified exactly. Um, they will be able to provide it in the time period. They would have been within the budgeted amount that council had approved because we can't variate from that. Um, and yeah, and, and that's where we sit with the procurement process. Not also touches on the localization and job creation benefits this contract would engender. Well, the company itself, I think it's about 60 to 65 percent local content, which is actually quite high. And um, they will be creating from this particular contract that we've awarded to them an additional 15, 10 to 15 jobs. Um, but they have hired a lot of local uh, people over the last year, particularly after COVID. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.